Today, I am so excited for today's video. We are doing a thrifting my spring wardrobe video. This is called a cold espresso, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's safe to say I need to go try on some clothes. I have a ton that I'm so excited to try on here. This was $2.99, so that's exciting. And I got a really, really expensive romper for 10 bucks. I think it's so cute. I love the pattern. I picked it up because I was like, that's kind of fun. I love getting cute seasonal clothing uh, for really, really cheap. So I'm really, really excited for what I got. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm Monica and I am so so excited for today's video. It is a thrifting my spring wardrobe video. I did a fall version of this and I had so much fun that I wanted to do a spring version. I have basically no spring clothing. Um, it's not usually clothing I buy even though I probably should since it's primarily warm where I live so I probably should have more like spring and summer friendly outfits but I don't have a ton so I wanted to revamp my wardrobe but I want to do it on a more limited budget while also recycling clothes that have been previously loved so I'm really excited I stopped and got a coffee from Baba Java coffee what a name and I didn't drink any of it even though it looks like it but I'm, I'm going to do a taste test because I just can't resist. I wasn't going to do a taste test originally, but when I saw this on the menu, I was like, we gotta taste test it together. So I haven't tried it, even though it looks like I have. It's just the foam that has gone down. This is called a cold espresso, which is exactly what it sounds like. It is Mexican Coke. They gave me the rest of it, which is awesome. I love Mexican Coke. Espresso, I think like maybe a little bit of cream or something, or f cold foam and they mixed it together. And I'm like, that is bizarre, and I'm intrigued. So we're gonna do a taste test right now before we head off to thrifting. Uh, so yeah, let's go for it. It tastes like Coke mixed with espresso. At first it was weird, but that aftertaste is good. Let me, let me do another one. Okay. I don't know if I would make a habit of ordering it. It's cool. But the beginning taste is like all Coke. And then like the middle taste is like all espresso. And then the end is like, that's the best taste. It's like the perfect combo. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. 6.5 or 7 out of 10. It's good. But I think it's going to be like a once in a while sort of order. Not like a constant order but I mean this place is cool this is a local coffee shop so this was fun to try a new place even though I got a weird drink and I got it iced I think they usually serve it hot which sounds weirder to me but I got it iced because it's hot outside but anyway now that we've done that we're gonna go ahead and head to our first thrift store I made a list of thrift stores to go to and so I am going to hit them in the order we're going to start from the farthest and make our way back and we may forego some if i feel like we don't need to visit some i want to go to the farthest one see how much i can get there and kind of go from there so without further ado let's go ahead and head there and start shopping for our spring wardrobe Well, we know I had to stop at this because why? It's so green. This is really, really cute. It's a dress with like these cutoffs and it goes all the way down, buttons all the way down. And I love the sleeves. So I'm definitely gonna try this on. This is a romper. It's kind of giving me Shakespeare vibes <laughs> with the sleeves, but I'm gonna try it on because it does look like it could be really, really cute on. And it's also really soft, so it'll probably be really comfortable. This literally looks like the, a little bit of Lexus dress. If you watch Shit's Creek, that's exactly what this looks like. Okay, I think somebody like donated their vintage stuff because this is so cute and the tag is like very old looking. I mean, okay, that's a little extreme. It's vintagey looking now and this is so cool. All right, so safe to say I need to go try on some clothes. I grabbed some skirts. I have a ton that I'm so excited to try on here. I also grabbed these two purses because they're very unique and I like a funky purse. So that one's pretty cool, and then there's this one, but I really need to go to the dressing rooms and start trying this one because this is an absolute ton of clothes. <laughs> So 
so I actually think this is really cute, but it's a little small right here, and it's a little too short for my comfort because it's not a romper, it's a dress. Okay, so I love this one, but it's actually a little big. See all that excess? It doesn't fit quite right here. I think I would bring it up like a, like a half an inch, and that would be okay in the length, but right here, it's actually a little too big, which makes me sad because I really liked this one too. So this is really cute. Casual, like a cottony romper. It's got like little pockets. All right, so here's that romper. This one in blue. I really do like these. Really comfy, good for like errands, and the short length is perfect. This is a cute little dress. Um, I thought it was a romper at first, but it's not, but it's still really cute and a good length. All right, so I got some good stuff at Sozo. They put it in a Trader Joe's bag. Um, I got five clothing items in total two of which are like the same so i want to get like one or two more things like clothing wise so we stopped at vapor for that which is a very very similar thrift store to sozo i actually have been going to vapor for years for a lot longer than i've been going to sozo but their prices are very similar and it goes to like mission work i believe um so that's really cool but i'm really excited that like the max that i'll spend here is like maybe 20 bucks but most of the time it's under 10 and same for Sozo. I'm gonna do an official haul and try on later on in the video when we've wrapped up here. But I did want to stop here and pick up maybe at least one or two more items just to kind of complete what I have in mind. So let's just go ahead and pop in there, see if I can find what I'm looking for to kind of complete the spring wardrobe I have in mind. So, so far these are the only two pieces I found that interest me at all this is a bodysuit and this is a romper so i'm not having as much luck initially here as i was at sozo but um i didn't really even get that much from sozo in comparison to what i tried on so i'm, I'm gonna keep searching we're gonna try some on and we're gonna see what i get all right so i don't know if you can tell on camera but this mirror is like really wonky they used to have better mirrors in here but whatever so i have the bodysuit on which i really do like really really cute then i have these american eagle shorts on but they're too big um in the waist so i think i'm gonna have to put these back but they are really cute and i do like this combo so i'm a little disappointed these don't fit in my waist but i run into that issue a lot all right so i do really like this um i think the fit is so cute and the pattern is growing on me all right, so we are back, and I am in my filming room with the new setup. The olive tree is actually over in that corner, so you cannot see it, so it almost sort of defeats the purpose of why I got it, but I love it anyway. Um, I feel like my background is so much more fun now, and this is like the first debut, obviously. That's a, like, that's a redundant phrase, but this is the debut of like the new pillows, the new pictures, and I love it. But let's go ahead and do the haul try on portion of this video. I'm really, really excited for what I got. So let's start off with Sozo. They put it in the Trader Joe's bag. And so I guess I can go ahead and start off with the purses since these aren't really outfits and I won't be trying them on. But I did end up getting both of them because they're so cute and so different. This one was just too funky not to get. I kind of liked the basket element. It's, I don't even know if you could see in there. The strap is driving me crazy while I'm trying to show you this. But there are pockets and stuff and it does, of course, clip. So I think it's really cute and would really add to a nice spring slash summer outfit. And honestly, it could even transition into fall because of the shade. But it is so, so cute and I just couldn't resist. It was nine dollars and i i love it i think it is just such a cute little crossbody and so the funkiness of it sold me on it i'm gonna polish it up i don't know if it's real leather but um i'll polish it up regardless because it is so cute then the other one i got is by stuart weitzman I'm really sorry if that's not how you pronounce it it's like almost like a bucket type it's got like the stuffing in it take that out graceful it's also like a crossbody which i think is really really fun and it's like 
cylindrical. This one doesn't have any pockets on the inside, but it does have this like little clasp. And honestly, the coloring was just cute, cute, cute. <laughs> No, was just too cute and I couldn't resist. This one was $13. Um, I'm gonna put its stuffing back in. It was just a little like, I just wanted some unique, seasonally appropriate purses. And I feel like the other one, like I said, will transition to fall. This one maybe could, but it, I really do think it's gonna shine during spring and then summer. So let's start off with these two casual rompers I got these two rompers from Rioria. They both have tags on them. They're brand new. I got them for nine bucks and they're just really cute. They're like a cottony material if you can kind of see and I got it in this like very vibrant neon-y pinky shade and it's really really comfy and I also got it in this pretty pretty blue. I'm not deciding which one's my favorite, but I think the blue is my favorite. These two very casual rompers I would pair with the Nikes. I have on the white Nikes or like sneakers, so I feel like that would be perfect with this. These are great to like go out and chill at like a brewery, run some errands. They're comfy, they're cute, and I love them. Then I did end up getting this dress. This is from fabric or fabrique. I'm not really entirely sure how you pronounce it. It's really really cute. I thought it was a romper at first but it is a dress and this is something honestly I guess you could wear it with Nikes but I probably would wear it with like sandals or wedges. I think it's so cute. I love the pattern. It's got like one shoulder. You can even just like have it kind of off the shoulder on that one shoulder but it's really cute. I paid $9.95 for it, so I was pretty excited about that. I'm really excited to whip it out and wear it with some wedges. I feel like it's comfy, but also really, really cute. So you're kind of being dressy and comfy, and that's really my ideal. That's what I want. I want to be cute and comfy. So I did end up getting what I am calling the Shakespeare dress. I just thought it was really kind of unique. It's from Aerie. It was $9.95. And I thought it was a romper too, but it wasn't. It's just a dress. I think this would look so, so cute with wedges. Very similar to like the ones that I would wear with the other dress I just talked about. But it's cute. I love the sleeves. It's different. I don't own anything like this and I never have. And I just really, I kind of like the Shakespearean aspect. Also, this would look really cute to film in, I think. Maybe. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. By the way, everything... So far, they've all been smalls. I think the last thing I got is also a small. So um, yeah, but there is one thing that's an extra small, so I'm just trying to make sure I'm mentioning that for you. And I was unsure about this, but I picked it up because I was like, that's kind of fun. And I actually pulled it over the shirt I'm wearing because it's got this color, which is almost identical. And I was like, that would be cute. And it goes up really high rise. These are shorts. This is like a skirt situation. So I thought this was a skirt. Thought the other things were rompers. And they're not. They're the opposite of what I thought. So I did enjoy that this is more, they have like shorts built in because then I feel a little bit more comfortable. I know this probably is not in style, like with it going all the way up and kind of like covering your shirt. But I just thought it was so cute and unique. And I loved the pattern. I would probably wear this with, I think my Nikes is what I would wear this with because I probably would wear it with like this kind of shirt and it would be like, once again, like comfy and cute. So I'm really excited about this. This is also a small, it's got of course this thick waistband, like spanning that much and I really like it. And I paid $7.95 for this. So that was really exciting. So let's move on to what I got at Vapor. I didn't get a ton at Vapor. I just got two things. Normally I do better there, but you know, it's hit or miss at any thrift store. And so I first got this romper, which I wasn't sure about, but when I put it on, I really liked the way it fit. And even like now looking in the camera, I am liking the pattern. I'm giving, getting more into floral patterns. And this is probably the most blatant floral pattern that I've ever tried on, so I think that's why I maybe found it a little bit intimidating, but it is really, really cute. This is a romper, and I did think it was, so finally something was what I thought it was. And I would pair this 
with just really, really cute wedges, similar to the ones I would pair the two dresses with. I got it Sozo. Um, that's what I would pair this with because then I would be comfy and it would go really, really well with this design. It's a typical like dressy, rompy material, if you kind of know what I'm saying. <laughs> this is a small and it was $10.99, which is actually a little bit pricier. What's the brand on this? I don't even, oh, here we go. Oh, Nations, oh. Okay, so Nations, um, in case you're wondering, is a very expensive local, like, boutique, and it, it's expensive. So $10.99 for this is actually a pretty good deal. But yeah, I'm excited about this. Gets me a little bit out of my comfort zone, not too much, but it's definitely the first very, very blatant floral pattern that I've ever worn, so kind of getting myself out of my comfort zone. Then, lastly, I got this bodysuit. This is from... What is it, Charlotte Russe? Is that what? Yeah, this is from Charlotte Russe. And uh, they closed, but I used to love their clothes because they were so inexpensive. This was $2.99, so that's exciting. I also feel like this color could maybe be used for the fall, but this style of shirt I most likely would wear in the spring. And I would pair this with like a pair of denim shorts. I think that would be really cute. Could do wedges. And then you could do like Nikes if you want to kind of tone it down. But yeah, I was really excited about this. I did really, really like the denim shorts I tried it on with because they had flowers and I felt like that was a little out of my comfort zone. But they gapped so much at the waist, so that was just not happening. But I did think they were really, really cute. So if you live in the area, you need to go buy those if they are your style because they're really cute. But anyway, that is it for today's video. I feel like I did a really good job. I thought I was going to get a lot more at Sozo, but a lot of things just didn't end up working out the way I wanted to, and I got a little nervous at Vapor because I wasn't finding anything for like the first 10 minutes of me walking around, but once I really started digging, I was able to find some really, really cute things, and I got a really, really expensive romper for 10 bucks, which I know I just complained about the price, but now I get it because it's Nations. It's a really expensive boutique here. So I'm really excited for what I got. I feel like earlier in the video I said I didn't have anything for spring which is pretty true but in my last video I did get some like more casual stuff for spring and this was a little bit more like dressier minus the two like casual rompers which honestly I would wear those out too because they're really really cute um, but everything else that I got in last in the last video was pretty much all like athletic wear so this was like getting some spring stuff that's a little bit dressier something that you may wear out at night or if you just want to be a little extra cute, even though I think athleisure wear is a really, really cute and that's why I gravitate towards it so much. But yeah, I really enjoyed this and I hope you guys did too. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and also subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, I have done a fall version of this, so if you're in the mood and you're kind of over spring or summer already, you could go check out the fall version. I had a lot of fun with that one as well. Um, and honestly, I probably will continue to do this sort of thing because I love getting cute seasonal clothing uh, for really, really cheap. So I'm excited about this. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said, because this kind of stuff is fun for me to record and also to watch. I enjoy watching this kind of content, so I hope you enjoy my version of this content, because that's what I want. But anyway, check out the rest of my channel if you haven't yet. And if you do like what you see on my channel, definitely stick around and subscribe. I'd love to have you become a part of the family long term. But anyway, that is it for now, so I hope you guys have the best rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!